Kia ora everyone. Um, I'm recording straight on. I'm just um, thinking that uh, I will give you a little bit of a clearer view of the code of what I've done so far. Um, what have we done so far? Well, so far in our bullet clicking game with enemies coming down our Space Invader game, uh, we have got a player. Player can move with the mouse. <clears throat> player can click and spawn some bullets and those bullets move up into the sky and they're gone forever ah, but they're not they're not gone forever but we will fix that very very soon um okay so i'm just going to zoom out a bit and let you show uh, see all of the code that we've done so far and here we go hopping out of the way that's it um uh cool what's next What's next? What's next? We need to make some enemies. Now we're going to make enemies in a very sort of a similar way to how we've made the bullets. Uh, we've made, uh, and I'll come down here. Here we have um, made our bullets and we've added them to a list and then we've done something with that list somewhere else. Somewhere else, it doesn't matter. We just wanted to make our bullets and update them and draw them and do other things with them in, in another space. And that's sort of how we're going to deal with the enemies as well. But actually where we're gonna make them is not every time that we click, but uh, at the start of the game. And then again, every time that we hit one, we're gonna add a new one in so we can keep playing forever and ever and ever. So let's, um, let's make them in setup. Let's make some enemies. So let's say four. Um, now we need, uh, I want to do this 10 times. I want 10 enemies. So I need a four list, a four list, a four loop. Uh, let i equal zero. And how do we do that? Don't forget, start, stop, step. Let i equal zero. We're going to start i at zero. Um, we're going to say that i needs to be less than 10 so when it is 10 stop um, and then the step part is i plus plus i plus plus means i is going to go up by one every loop um, so start i at zero stop i at 10 go up by one <gasps> what does that mean all these semicolons everywhere it means loop this code 10 times so you can just if you're struggling to remember what is happening in that for loop, just forget about it. Just copy that loop in and just remember it means loop this code 10 times. Whatever we put in these curly brackets, loop it 10 times. That's okay. If you wanted to loop it more times, change that there. You want to loop it 100 times, do that. If you want to loop it one time, do that. Although then why would you use a loop? But that's okay. Um, okay. What are we doing 10 times? We're making an enemy 10 times. So enemy, ooh, forgot the magic word. Let, let enemy equal, just like we did with our bullet. In fact, you could copy paste this. Uh, I'm not, our enemy uh, needs an X and a Y. And what does its X need to be? Well, anything, anything, a random number between zero and a random number between zero and width. Cool, done. Comma at the end of that line. Very, very careful on that comma. There, all right. I've lost my zoom level now. Uh, y is going to be what? Um, when these spawn in, I don't want them all on the screen already. I want them to slowly come down. So what I want to have happen, I actually want to spawn them above the screen and have them slowly come down. That's gonna be a bit difficult because we're not gonna know if they're there or not until they start to come down. Uh, so how are we gonna do that? We're gonna say random. Uh, any number between minus, minus the screen height, minus height, maybe minus t twice the height. Let's say, uh, let's just say minus 800. Let's put in a literal there. Um, minus 800 and zero. Zero, yeah, why not? Okay, they can come down straight away. That's it. I have now made an enemy. Have I done anything with it though? No, I haven't. Just like the bullet before, I've made an enemy and it's just gonna vanish as soon as we run this code. 
We're going to make an enemy. We're going to make it again. It's going to disappear. We're going to do that 10 times. And we never have saved it anywhere. So what do we need? A list. Right at the top. Let's enemies equal a blank list and again square brackets empty list nothing in it every time we make an enemy as soon as, we, as we've made that enemy we're going to uh what are we going to do we're going to say enemies dot push enemy and now that will add that enemy onto that list um great uh cool 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 is that is that this have we made some enemies should we see if we've made some enemies no they won't show up yet because we haven't drawn them and we haven't updated them so in here we've drawn and we've updated our bullets let's update and you can't see anything uh let's update and draw enemies update and draw enemies okay so exactly how we've done that with our bullet list we're going to say for let enemy of enemies um, and so for every enemy in that enemies list repeat this code whatever code we put in the square in the curly brackets repeat that code repeat what well, we want it to come down. Uh, we want it to come down. So let's let's bring it down a bit. So uh, enemy dot y plus equals. Take your pick. How hard do you want this game to be? I want it to be easy right now. Whoa, twenty one. No, maybe two, two ten. If you want it to be good. Um, great. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, and now let's draw. A rectangle and oh we could draw a square no let's draw a rect uh, rectangle and it's going to be at enemy.x enemy.x enemy.y and it's going to be 10 big as well whoops forgot a comma hey we have some coming down ah but I can't do anything oh there are the rest all at once huh Oh, that's what happens when it's random. Okay, I can click and add bullets. I've got enemies coming down. These two things aren't meshing together. They are not interacting at the moment. So next up, we're going to deal with collisions. But first, a few comments. Uh, up here, right at the top, we're going to say uh, spawn enemies. Cool. Um, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit uh, so that you can catch up on any code you've missed. Uh, hopefully you can still see that. And is that all? Okay, so here we go, hopping out of the way. And here. Cool. Right. We've made some enemies. Let's deal with collisions so we've made some enemies let's deal with some collisions uh, how are we going to get these two things to collide well every time that we every time we go around that loop we need to check whether or not any bullet is touching any enemy so for every bullet we need to check if it's touching any other enemy so we need a double nested loop um, we do have two loops already one for the bullet and one for the enemy so we could use those uh, but just for just for clarity just to, to really keep these things separate uh, we're going to make another one um so we're going to make a double nested loop so we're going to have a for loop inside a for loop um okay let's take a look oh i'm already at the bottom here we go four and it's going to be oh, let me zoom in a bit so that you can see it there we go for let enemy of enemies and 
straight after that, for let bullet of bullet. Oops. For let bullets of bullets. Cool. So we now check. We now have uh, every bullet for every enemy. So we're checking every bullet maybe 10 times. We're checking every enemy uh, only once per enemy. Cool. Uh, right. What do we want to do? We want to check whether or not the distance between the bullet and the enemy is close enough that they're touching. Uh, when's that going to be? That's going to be at about 10 pixels based on the size. If you're using something bigger, you should change that. Or you could have a variable controlling size of the bullet and the enemy, and you could use that here too. Uh, we're not at the moment, um, so we'll just we'll just put this in as we'll do about roughly 10, and it looks okay. Um, all right. So we're going to say if dist, uh, and the distance between four... four coordinates an x and a y for the first uh, an x and a y for the enemy and an x and a y for the bullet so if enemy dot x enemy dot y uh, bullet dot x bullet dot y and it's becoming a very big line if all of that if that distance is less than 10 then what? What do we want to do if it's less than 10? Well, we want to get rid of... Uh, we want to get rid of the enemy, that's for sure. Uh, I think we also want to get rid of the bullet. I don't think we're going to have bullets that can just carry on forever like a laser. I think we're also going to get rid of the bullet. The bullet. Uh, and then we... When we come to the score, we want to do something with the score here too. We want to add some score. Uh, cool. Right. Let's get rid of the enemy. Uh, this is the... I think it's the ugliest line of the whole thing. If you have a better idea of how I could do this line, you can please tell me, um, uh, and I will improve it. But for the meantime, uh, this line is a bit of a disaster. But here we go. Right. Um, we're going to say enemy, uh, enemies, uh, whoa, uh, enemies dot uh, splice. Uh, enemies dot index of enemy one okay what is this line doing okay um, uh, what what's it doing okay it's it's gonna take a look in the enemies list it's going to splice as in it's going to uh, get rid of um, a few things how many things is it going to get rid of uh, it's going to get rid of one thing, and that's what that one means. But where is it going to start getting rid of them? Well, it's going to start getting rid of them at some index, some at some location, and the location I've said to do it in is the uh, wherever that index of the enemy that we're talking about exists in the enemies list. Ah, it's just not good, but it works. And so that's fine sometimes. Um, if it works, then it's fine. There is uh, a normal way that you would fix this, and it involves using a different for loop. Um, but I really like the let of, the for of loop. So we're going to leave it. OK, don't worry. If you don't understand what's going on, don't worry. Just do that, and you'll come across it again, and you'll understand it a bit better. And then you'll come across it again, and you'll understand it a bit better. And maybe you don't get it. The first five times you see it, or the first ten times you see it, maybe you get it on the 11th. Okay, that's fine. It'll work. It works. It'll, it'll work for today. Okay. Um, are we getting rid of the enemy? Let's take a look. Boom! There they go! They are gone! Bye-bye, enemies! Ah! Okay. Enemies are dying. We are killing the enemies. Great. Um, not killing the bullets yet, so let's go the same thing, just with the bullets list. Um, bullets dot splice um, bullets dot index of bullet and then outside that bracket one whoa not 21 it'll get rid of the whole thing 
Um, and so now we're getting rid of the bullets as well. It should hit that enemy. They should both go. Uh, and that should be fine. Here we go. Boo. What have I done? In D of. In D of. No, index of. Uh, something else I noticed there that you'll have seen is that sometimes they're sort of slipping past each other. The reason for that is that we're currently drawing all of our rectangles off the top left hand corner let's draw them off the center and then that will should fix that so uh right at the top of draw maybe just under background let's say rect mode center there we go rect mode center awesome um let's try it again and come over here canvas yay Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. That's fun. And they're all gone. Okay. Um, we're not spawning any more in. Let's fix that. Uh, where are we? Okay. Let's put a comment in so we can find this line. Deal with collisions. Uh, deal with collisions. Great. Okay. So we have gotten rid of the enemy. We've gotten rid of the bullet. Let's get rid of the... What am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? We're, um, we're, spawning, we're spawning another enemy, okay? Uh, just one. Maybe you want to have a horde of bullets and you want to spawn two. Or maybe you want to set up some sort of logic system where you can randomly spawn two. Or maybe you spawn randomly, spawn one. Um, but I'm just going to grab that code exactly as it is from our spawn enemies and i only want to spawn one so i don't need the for loop itself just the code inside it um and there'll be people who are listening to this that are saying ah you're repeating code and i say yes i am uh that's okay if you know how to create a function and go and not duplicate the code go go ahead please do that it will make your code nicer for this level uh we are not um and we've already called it enemy, so let's call it new. Uh, we can't use enemy twice, so let's call it new enemy. Uh, and enemies.push new, oops, new enemy. New enemy, there. Yeah. Okay. Great. And so now when we do it, we should have... We should have an infinite amount of bullets. And you'll notice we're actually pretty close. We're actually pretty close to competing this thing. Ooh, I'm really far off screen at the moment. Ah, but when they get past, they're not respawning anymore. Um, and or I'm not losing and we have no score. Uh, so that, I think those final few parts will be the topic of our next video. If you've managed to follow along uh, so far, well done. You've done the hardest parts now. Um, so I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm gonna just quickly scroll down the whole code uh, so that you can catch up on any bits that you've missed so far. And you can just see the whole thing uh, as it is. So let me hop out of the way and here we go. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.